Well, the Bronx is the birthplace of hip hop, and now there's a restaurant in Mod Haven serving up soul food with a side of music history. Let's welcome Leonardo Marino and Adolfo Montez from Beatstro. Good morning. Welcome to both of you. So this smells and looks amazing. Before we get into the food, tell us about the restaurant. So Beatstro opened uh, June 26th of last year, so mm -hmm. we just did our one year anniversary. Super excited about the neighborhood and it's really it, rejuvenated it's, that area it's, right it's, by the Third Avenue it's, Bridge. Uh, it's coming along great, and we're happy to be there and mm -hmm. cooking fried chicken up there and listening to music. That's like a dream. Awesome. I'm really happy about the fried chicken. <laughs> Cindy yeah. called the fried. Oh my goodness! Should you brought get, enough for we get all some of us. Going? Yes. Cool. So I'm gonna get the fried chicken going, and Adolfo's gonna talk about his alcapuria, which is a, a Puerto Rican inspired dish. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, that's over here. Ahead, Adolfo, yeah. Take it. That's take it away. Food down there. Uh, okay. This is a traditional uh, street food from ah. Puerto Rico. You know, it's, it has an uh, African ancestry. Uh -huh. uh, you know, Puerto Rico is a blend of different cultures. So this is one of the staples that you find in the roadsides as a street food. And it's filled with uh, yaupia, which mm -hmm. is uh, a root vegetable that is uh, gets yeah. mashed, seasoned with adobo and some uh -huh. anato oil. And, and dip it in that guava. Oh, yeah, 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 You have definitely. a little sauce there, a little spicy, sweet okay. kind of sour sauce. Okay. Yeah. It'll make it taste delicious. Great. So, mm. so this is really good. We're showing the chicken, but we're eating mm. this. We're eating, yeah. oh my eating this on the side. That's, That's delicious. Really good. So That's should really we talk good. through this real quick? Well, first of all, tell yeah. me what you have in. So what did you, what did you put in the chicken? We just dropped uh, 24 hour brine chicken. Uh, light dredge, air dries overnight, and then we do dust it real quick, and it's become this very thin layer here, a crust. So wait a minute, you dredge the chicken overnight? Yes, and let, oh. it, let it air dry. Oh, okay. It's a technique I'm giving to y'all. I was going to say. But, uh, let's, let's see if you can get it right. What did you put in there? Uh, this is uh, flour, cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Oh, wow. Very simple. Uh, light fried at a 350. Uh, if you're doing it at home, it's probably about 16, 17 minutes, but make sure it's done first. And then we drizzle it up with fry, with our hot honey. So whoever's doing Okay, so that's that honey that you're putting that's all right, over it? That's right. And then the, <laughs> the chicken shake on there, which I can't tell you about. Oh, it's, it's a secret. Ricky's secret. So we call this Vera's Fried Chicken. It's, a, it's actually inspired by Ricky's grandmother, who owned Maryland Fried Chicken in 1968. Mm. And we wanted to bring it to the New York uh, scene uh, this year. And then we have our platanitos, which is mm. fried green bananas with our ghost pepper salt. Our catfish with mm. the locrio, which is our version of Puerto Rican rice and beans turned into mm -hmm. Asian fried rice. Mm. So we'll mess with that later. Mm -hmm. And then the temblique, which is a beautiful wobbly. Temblique means wobbly, so it's a rice pudding that we cover with uh, coconut shavings. And then if you're coming by for lunch, you have some cob salad. You gotta have so, the salad on the menu. Yeah, I mean, you have to have that. In Absolutely. addition to the food, talk about the music. Should you guys play hip hop? Mm -hmm. What's kind of the music part um, of the restaurant? Can I have a piece of please, this, by please, the way? Go ahead. I would, okay. I would be mad if you didn't. <laughs> okay. go, uh, we go from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Obviously, I grew up. I'm born in 1978, so I, we grew up in the best era of mm -hmm. hip hop. I was uh, born later on. All right. Uh, of course, <laughs> So, uh, we have DJs on Sundays, uh, special events, lots of fun. We're about to go to brunch at 11.30, mm -hmm. so I hope y'all are joining me out please, there. Please do. Yeah? We're going to be rocking until about 6 o'clock tonight. These are delicious. I know. It has like a spicy kick at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost, ghost, it's pepper. A ghost pepper salt. Uh, it's yeah. a ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. Oh. Right. Isn't that like the. One of the hottest. But well, the Carol, I think wow. Carolina Reaper took over the, yeah, the, yeah. the heat scene on that. This is but really good. Thanks for having us on, and uh, we'll see you at brunch. <laughs> Thank right? you. Yeah, well, John's yeah, coming yeah, in because John wanted. You know, wait, wait, wait. Are, are these delicious? They are. They Those are. are delicious. Yes, Birds these are. are. Please. So, so this this honey though, yes, there's sir. a little kick to that honey, there is. right? So, That's what really makes it. It's really good. A little yeah. scotch bonnet infused honey. That's right. Yeah, but damn it, do.